Oh, you got him? Oh my gosh, you got him. That yes, that's the... Oh, it broke. Oh, oh. Pull it in, pull it in, pull it in, just pull it in. <laughs> Bro. Oh, look at that one. Oh, that was that big one. Oh! You ready? I'm ready. You came to Texas. Yes. You're ready to catch some big fish, right? Yes. And what's your big fish of this year so far? This year? Yes. It's like one and a half pounder. One and a half pounder. So that's what we got to beat today. Yeah. One and a half pounds. These guys, some of them dog me. They accuse me of not catching my own fish. Oh, wow. They say, they say that um, I'm with someone and they're catching a fish and I'm just posing with the fish. That's hilarious. Yeah. So today you got to catch your own fish. And we got to film it from cast to cast. There you go. So everyone can hear Welcome to Lake Athens. We are here. Just landed. Just launched. And uh, it's been a tough day from two people that I've talked to so far. But we are going to see what we can catch. Are you ready? Let's you ready to catch some fish? Yes. Sometimes the bass are right under the weed. You don't even have to cast it. Just see like this little hole right here? Okay. Just drop it in that hole and shake it around. See, look, oh, there's a big foot right Now we're gonna go back in here and see if we can see any bass spawning. It's still May. Sorry. Right? <laughs> yeah, I you tried get a bite? to. No, oh. I tried to pull it out of weeds and it was like okay. I'm scared of shit out of me. I'm scared of shit out of me too. That's seeing that lure coming at my head at 500 yeah. miles an hour. You got him? I don't know. Oh my gosh, you got him. I got one. Yes, that's the... Oh, it broke. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Pull it in, pull it in, pull it in. Just pull it in. <laughs> Bro. Oh, look at that one. Oh, that was that big one. Oh! No! Oh, oh my god. I couldn't gosh. tell because that reel. Oh. I saw him jump out of the water, but you know what? I got it on camera. I got it on camera. We got a nice close up of it. Oh, that was the first fish of the day. The biggest one of the day. <laughs> she broke the reel. But you got that was nice. That was a nice I one. Had a picture. Everybody wants to know how you missed that fish. It was so easy. It was a layup. Because you gave me a shitty reel. I told you where it was. I showed you where the fish was. You cast it. What but happened? your reel broke. My, wait, my reel broke or you broke it? The reel you gave me was oh, broken. Oh, it, it, now all of a sudden, the reel I gave you broke. I told you, you were trying to sabotage me. <laughs> I know it. It worked, You don't guys. want the Ohio girl to come over here and... It worked. I don't need her to catch a fish and me not to. So sorry about your reel. <laughs> oh, my goodness. At least I saw his face. Oh, I got a close-up of it. The camera was right in his face as he came up. And then he, he was said gone. cheese. He said Bam. cheese. Bam. Peace out. You ain't bringing me home for dinner. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm gonna think of that fish all she, night. She's so sad. Her, her face is so sad. Oh man.
I don't think I've ever been that sad losing a fish. <laughs> it was so close. It was so big. It was so close. It was right there. Well, that's what happens when you use a spinning reel. We don't use spinning reels out here. I'm learning. You gotta use a bait cast one. Oh, got one. You got one? Oh, yeah. Cast back oh. there. Uh -huh. Cast back there. I thought I was stuck on weeds too. <laughs> Nice one. Yeah. There you go. Alright. First fish of the day. No one else has gotten anything. <laughs> no one else has gotten anything. We did get one, but I bet you there's another one back there. It felt like this was just stuck in the weeds. So um, and then I just kept pulling it and I was like, wait a minute, it's the weeds are pulling back. Okay, one, one to zero, she hasn't caught anything. Did you guys see her catch anything? I didn't see anything. Yeah, you keep talking. All right. Okay. What would you give me for this fish? How much does it weigh? Can we weigh them or do you just want to guess? I'm gonna say, let me see it on the side. Uh, that's like two. Yeah, a couple. Oh, yeah. It has it's been really slow though. Oh, there's something here. That's true, yep. I just cast it all the way in that grass and you just went after it. it right now so oh cast gosh. out in this like straight out into that grass directly in front of you as far as you can it sounds like they're here did you see how hard i pulled yeah Part oh great cast great cast just slowly slowly pull it through there right cast into the right see this see that grass in front of you yep right in there Oh, you got him. You got him. Shit. Oh! My shirt got caught in the thing. Oh! I was like, oh. that was a good one. Reel it in, reel it in. Keep reeling in. Just make sure. Oh, okay. I knew there was one in there. Oh, man. Okay. All right. Cast all the way to your left. Now you set that hook like it owes you money, okay?
I think so. Cast in different places. Hey, how's it going? Hi. <laughs> I want to see that video. <laughs> Which one? <gasps> Don't break my rod, dip. Okay. The one, well, show me later. The fish. The one my, you lost? my big fish that you lost <laughs> on purpose. <gasps> It was an accident. <laughs> no. That's on purpose. I just happened to catch the biggest fish today because we lost her big fish. So it was just an accident. <laughs> well, you got most fish too. So well, you did win. Point the rod tip and pull at it. Re point the rod. Reel it and point the rod at it. Yeah. Pull, pull toward you. There you go. Thank you. You know, I think Lake Fork is probably going to be about the same kind of fishing. But Lake Fork is not clear like we were at. And also there's alligators on Lake Fork. So you might, if you want to see an alligator, I can probably find one for you. Um, that's okay. You don't want to see an alligator? No. Take all the fun out of things. So we're talking about the guys that are in her DMs, right? And well, go on, go, go on, say what you're saying. They're vulgar. Some of them are vulgar. Some of them are so vulgar. Which are the guys that you will respond to and, and be positive? What kind of messages will they send you? Um, somebody who has a sincere compliment, okay. not a, oh, you look good or oh, you're sexy. Okay. Um, someone who asked maybe an interesting question, like about fishing or something, that's okay. legit. Mm -hmm. um, that's about it. Okay, so those are the ones that you actually enjoy getting. What and if he's like really good looking okay. and has something interesting to say, then I'll engage. Then you'll engage, okay. Well, what are some of the things that you won't even read their messages? Because I think a lot of guys don't even realize you're not reading their messages. Um, which ones don't I read? Yeah, like what kind Let of messages? Let me take you out. Okay. From like 60 year old men with no teeth that live in Kentucky. <laughs> Let me take you out. I want you. Spell W-O-N-T. I want you. Alright, um, alright. What else? Um, what are some of the things that are just a real turn off that you just won't even, you won't respond, you won't even? Sexy. Okay. I hate the word. Okay. That's a pet peeve for you. Yeah. Guys, you hear that? She's not sexy. Just <laughs> <laughs> say, what's up, ugly? That's it. You'll get her attention. I guarantee it. So I want all the DMs I, you know to what say, it is. what's up, someone, ugly? Uh, one time, someone was like, eh, you're all right. And I thought it was funny. And I, I responded to that because. You're you going to get a whole bunch of ugly comments now. So <laughs> all these, no, you're ugly. I don't what's up, ugly? To that. What's up, ugly? Because I know you do a lot of bass fishing, but there's a lot of guys like in Canada and mm -hmm. so you know, dude, like saltwater fishing. So there's saltwater fishing, there's like trout and salmon fishing, there's fly fishing in like the Midwest. I don't wanna do it. I just wanna fish for bass. Okay, so a bunch of pansies fishing for other fish other than bass. All the bass are I love that. Yeah, it's all about the bass. Alright. So she's all about the bass. So are the guys are all bass. <laughs> and uh, you know. So that's really good to know. Bass fishing is a special kind. Today, we are going to Lake Fork. Yesterday, we went to Lake Athens. Today, we are going to Lake Fork and uh, got a little bit of Lake Star. It is hot today. It is Texas heat. She, how, how, what was the weather up in Ohio when you left? 48 when I left in the morning, like at there 5 no, in the morning. No, sir. No, ma'am. Uh -uh. That's why I moved to Texas. It is what? It's like 75, it's gonna be 80. 80. It's 80, beautiful, it's, 80. it's actually beautiful right now, yeah. light breeze. It's gonna be really hot, it's gonna be, it's, it's gonna be really nice. Today's gonna be tough fishing right now. It is a high pressure day, overcast. Um, the fish have not been cooperating and eating the way they're supposed to be eating. But we are gonna teach her, we're gonna do some a hook set university. 
because she missed a whole bunch of fish yesterday and had she been able to set the hook a little bit harder she she destroyed one of my reels this she hulk over here destroyed one of my reels so i got her i got her new reel hopefully it's hopefully it's strong enough for that freaking monster hands it's just crush everything um, and there's welcome to lake fork look at she's got her little hat on she is ready so don't lose your hat. That's your only job today. So don't lose your hat. I'll keep it on. If it flies off into the water, throw that's my only it. job today. It's your only job today. No, that's sad. <laughs> don't, that's don't pathetic. And, and catching a monster fish. All yes. right. So we're gonna go try. We're gonna go see if I can find some monsters. Fish next to him and see if he can't find to get one of these fish. So if I was you, I would cast up towards that blue heron. See, I can see some fish jumping out there already. So we know we're in a good area if a blue herring is here. It's a great blue herring. It's a male. It has like this black, that black stripe across its eye. Yeah. Um, I got one. I got one. Is that the hook? Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Watch out, don't touch them, they uh, bite hard. Oh. Yeah. They're kind of like a catfish, but meaner. Get my pliers. Damn it, I thought I had a bass. Really? Here, hold them up, let's get a, let's get a picture of you holding that thing up. Look at this, this is a bowfin, four pound, 10 ounce bowfin. It's not a bass, it doesn't count. <laughs> Look at the size of that though. That is so good. That's ugly. It looks as big. And then her friends like propped her back on the boat. Mm -hmm. And you could tell this girl was like bad. And they laid her down on the back of the boat and she rolled like, like. Um... Did you hear that? What is that? So alligators make that noise during mating season. They sound like an alligator. It sounded like. Alligator coming. Look, you see it. it swimming at us? I see it. I'll show you guys. There's an alligator swimming right at us. You guys can see it. And I just got a bite when I see it. See, you guys can see that. It's coming. You guys see that? Dude, I just got a bite too. I just stopped to, uh, to film the alligator. Set the hook, set the hook, set the hook. Got him, lift up your pole high. He's wrapped around that tree. Oh, that's a giant one. Oh my gosh, that is Well, our time comes to an end. 
you ended up catching some fish. You missed a lot of fish. You missed a lot of fish. Today. But that's okay. I improved. You improved. What did you learn on this trip? What, was, um, what are some things that you're going to take away? Setting the hook. And then you taught me about, um, I didn't know to jerk my bait when I'm rolling it in. <laughs> Um, I was doing that me. wrong the you whole time. Wrong, way yeah, wrong. I was doing it wrong the whole uh -huh. time. But now I know. And um, my knot, because you hate my original knot. You learned a new knot. I learned a new knot. Cinch knot. Um, I did learn to keep changing up lures if you're not giving up getting the bite. Because mm -hmm. I normally don't do that. I'll just stick to what I have. Mm -hmm. But I've seen you like change lures like 20 times just for one fish. And what happened? Did you see what happens when we change it, right? Yeah. Just, just here. You know, when you're catching these bass, you stop getting bites. So we switch it up to give them something new to look at here. So thank you for coming out. This Thanks was so awesome. So we'll have to do part two when the bass are biting a little better. The bite was really tough on Lake Fork this time, but um, she got we got some on Athens. But Fork was just a it was a beast. Caught but a sand you, bass. you you caught your first sand bass and you caught she caught a four pound bowfin. If you guys don't know what a bowfin is, it's like a mean, angry catfish with sharper teeth. Ugly and ugly they look like snakehead fish if you know what a snakehead is it kind of almost looks like an eel so she caught her first one she wasn't impressed with it but it was a big one a four pounder which is really something. good yeah it was, you got to see i didn't some get really skunked new, you didn't get skunked no both days you caught good fish. actually all three days you caught fish so okay. yeah i'll take it so not a right. bad fishing trip no no it was pretty good so Thank you. we'll see you next time and tune in next time guys like and subscribe and we'll see you next time